Okay, hello and welcome to this video. In this video, we want to talk about a Linux Windows dual boot scenario where we have Linux and Windows installed on the same disk and we want to extend our system partition of Windows. Well, because I installed Linux here and I gave the Linux partition um, a much bigger size here than the C partition of Windows. And as you can see here, we now have our Windows partition has uh, 35 gigabytes of size and the Linux partition here on the right hand side has uh, 75 gigabytes. So we want to extend the C partition and shrink the Linux partition. Well, we cannot use here the disk management here in Windows because the disk management in Windows does not allow us to change the partition, um, the partitions here. We can uh, shrink the C volume here, but that's all. And we cannot do anything with the Linux partition. We can delete the volume here, but basically that's all. So we are going to use Gparted in our scenario here. And um, in order to do that, I recommend having a backup in place. Uh, when we do that, there will be no um, data damage or the data will all be there and we don't need to reinstall everything. However, when changing partitions, it's always a good idea to have a backup at hand. Well, since this is out of the way, uh, let's get started. We need three things here. And the first one is Gparted. You can download it here from the Gparted homepage. And I put the link uh, down in the video description. There's also a blog post uh, describing everything we do here in that video. Okay, here on that page, um, you download the AMD64 partition here on gparted.org. So just download the ISO file here. And for the USB drive, here's also the hint that you should back up your data first. Well, uh, they bring it on their homepage as well. Okay, the second thing we need uh, is Rufus. Rufus is a software to create the USB drive and I recommend downloading the portable installation or the portable file here so it does not need to be installed. Okay, um, I've already downloaded the files here, Gparted and also Rufus. Let's start Rufus here. Well, uh, it's German here, but um, I think you can get it here uh, if you do that with the English version. Okay, select the drive here, uh, the first one. Uh, now we have to select the disk image file of Gparted. So we just select it like so. And basically that's it. Uh, we leave everything else uh, as it is. And we click the start button. We write the image in the DD image mode. This usually has less problems. Hit OK. Then we should get a warning. Here it is um, that all data on the disk uh, is deleted. Now the disk uh, is created as a USB drive. And once we have done that, well, we can connect now the USB drive to our computer and restart the computer. So let's restart our computer here. Okay, restart. And once we have done that, we now have to enter the boot menu. In my case here, I have to hit the F12 key. It's different on every computer. So just try out escape, F2, F10, F11. Um, yeah, something like that. So as you can see now, we are now calling the boot menu. And now here we select the USB storage device. This may look different on your computer. Okay, now Gparted will be starting. This is a boot screen here. We just hit enter and start Gparted. Okay, let's do that. And after a few seconds, the system should start. Usually there will be uh, some uh, questions here. For example, for the key map, just hit enter here. We don't need that. Uh, then you can select the language. Uh, if you just have, you just want English, just hit the enter key here as well, because it's pre-selected. And we're here is another option with the graphical user interface. Just hit enter as well uh, to start the graphical user interface here. Here we go. And basically that's it. Gpart it should now start. Okay, here we are. Uh, Gparted has already started and we can now see here our disk layout as we have seen it before in Windows. The first one here is our uh, Windows partition. Uh, it has uh, the NTFS disk uh, file system and on the 
right side is our Linux partition with ext4. Okay, how we do that, uh, how we do uh, change the size of our partitions? Well, that's very, very easy here. We just have to select our partition, right click here and then resize move. And once we have done that, we can now uh, adjust the disk size and put uh, position here so so just um, select the size you want your new Linux partition have and you can also enter numbers here and when you are finished you can click resize move there will be a warning okay it just hit okay um, usually there are no boot problems here okay hit okay here we go. Now we have unallocated disk space in the in the middle. And now we want to assign this disk space here to our Windows partition. So we do basically the same. Right click here, resize and move. And we also now adjust the size of our Windows partition. Click resize and move. And that's it. The changes are not applied yet. So if you make an error, you can always quit this. And only if you hit this button here, apply all operations, then the changes will be applied to your disk. Okay, are we sure? We are sure that we want to do that. So we just click the apply button here. Here we go. And now the computer starts working and will resize the partitions, move the data around and do everything we just Configured. This may take a while, depending on the amount of data you have on your disk and also on the drive speed. So it will take several minutes. Here we are. Everything is finished and everything has worked. Uh, so we can close it here. Here's now our new disk layout. And yeah, our Windows partition now has more space available. So we can quit Gparted here. Uh, so we can just click here on exit and reboot our computer. Now we will have to look uh, if our both systems, Linux and Windows, will be booting. So let's test this out. Here we go, the boot logo of our system. And now the grub bootloader should appear in a few seconds here. And here we go. So let's first try Linux here. And Linux is starting, that's a good sign. And yeah, here we are. We are now at the login screen of Linux. And so while well, this worked, that's very good. Let's check out Windows next. Okay, so we select Windows here in the boot menu. And Let's see. Well, this looks good. The circle appears. So Windows is booting. And here's our login screen. That's excellent. So everything has worked. Okay, let's have a look in Windows to our new disk layout. Have we more disk space available? So the Explorer and as you can see here now, we now have more disk space available here. And if we go to the disk management here, we see our new disk layout and much more space for Windows is now available here. So very easy to do that with Gparted. I really re recommend doing a backup before this, but um, usually it works just fine and you keep all your data, you keep all your programs and you do not need to reinstall anything. And basically that's it. Goodbye.